Hello lovely, welcome to my channel. This is Lava, good to see you everybody. And welcome to guests of my channel as well. Uh, I decided to do another reading for you. This reading will have no topic. We'll let the cards decide what messages do I have for you, my wonderful collectives. So message for you. We have celebration, we have gifts, we have abundance. So there is abundance and gifts coming towards you, but I feel this energy as if there is someone, someone's jealousy, envy, individual that does, they do not want you to receive that gift. Okay, they are, they are very jealous, very envious. I feel a lot of uh, feminine energy. Okay, females, privileged females. Okay, I don't think that they actually successful or have money, but they, but they they like to pose themselves as the, as, as if they're special, like they try to wear fancy clothes. But this is all, you know, just um, just materialistic, materialistic individuals. Okay, and I sense that these individuals, this group of vicious, malice, jealous, crazies at least three okay gossiping but why gossiping you know why this whole gossip going on behind your back because you are gifted you are gifted there's abundance coming towards you there's gifts coming towards you and maybe this individual is aware of that fact okay so i sense a lot of jealousy currently but overall, like I said, you're a very gifted individual. You're very kind. Of course, through pain and suffering, you obtain the gifts. Okay, These gifts that are coming towards you, they're not given to you for free. You earn them. They belong to you. You deserve them through blood, through suffering. You understand? But I feel like this group of vicious lunatics are very jealous because I also feel energy of rebirth, especially in this month of winter. Okay, there is a rebirth taking place in your life as we speak. Okay. And these jealous lunatic, lunatics, plural, females, could be males, but they definitely do not have that masculine um seat in them okay mostly acting like a like a females so these individuals are very jealous see they feel vulnerable they feel guarded they're not happy where they at okay they need comfort some sort of female here some sort of female here but you on another hand are very open to receive these gifts that is coming towards you Okay, you're receiving these gifts right now in the present moment and you're thankful. There's a level of gratitude what is coming towards you from the divine. Who is this individual? Party, guarded, vulnerable. Hmm. This individual is watching you like I said, some jealous, jealous, envious, sociopathic individual. She could have black hair, like a dark haired dark haired okay either dark haired uh or or could be completely opposite blonde haired and dark eyes or dark hair and blue eyes you understand she's watching you she's watching you re being gifted receiving these gifts okay and one thing for sure that this individual does not feel very good okay her you definitely broke her ego by simply being you. By simply trusting the divine. And as a reward receiving this gift. So there is an individual like I said. That is just vicious of you. Vicious of you. Okay. Jealous. She's spying on you. She's watching. Inspecting. How is it possible. That you have all these gifts coming in towards you. And you know how it's possible. Because you are. You are protected. You are guided by your spirit guides. You don't do it alone. 
So if you're gifted and have a gift of intuition, then of course you in tune and in balance with your inner self and listen to your spirit guides. That's how, okay? This lunatic over here that is jealous is jealous. Jealous was a simple fact that you're a kind, loving person. You have done nothing wrong to nobody. And she is simply jealous of you. Okay? As well spying on you. See? Triggers. She's not in harmony with herself. She is in a conflict. There's triggers. You, your happiness triggers her. And she feels guarded. And because of all this whole thing happening, out of jealousy, it's happening out of envy to you. And this individual potentially, like I said, caused you problem in the past out of her fucked up jealousy. It's a female, hates your gut. And now you're growing. See, she's watching you grow. She's watching you grow every day. And now she's triggered because she didn't got what she wanted. She did not got what she wanted. Okay, let's ask the question. What did you want it? If you're so unhappy and a gossiper and keep stalking my collectives that are full of abundance and spiritual guidance, what did you want it for my collectives? Dead. Contracts, career, commitment. She didn't want you to have nothing. She wanted you to be in debt, to be broke. She did not want you to take care of yourself. She wanted, to she wanted you to neglect yourself. I understand? Your enemy remaining in the same pit hole, shit hole, where she always been. You growing. You understand? She's not. Every day she's digging herself more into debt while you prosper. <clears throat> That's the whole point of jealousy. Right? Because she wants to have what you have. Well, let me tell you one thing. You cannot have what others have. Every blessing and every gift is earned. It's earned, especially when it comes to the spiritual aspect. If you are a low life, jealous lunatic, a stalker, that try to put another innocent, unique individual in shit hole because you yourself shit, minus your this fake fucking jewelry you wear and the fake dresses you wear, thinking you're so fucking special, you're not special. Because money does not really mean shit. It's not the divine blessing. Having a divine gift is something that an individual earned through blood and suffering and pain. You wanted it easy way. And now you're in shit. Now you're apparently triggered. Running around to psychologists, making shit up, Poor me, I'm so poor, gossiping about you. And she wanted you to have nothing because she herself nothing. It's a typical narcissistic bitch that simply wanted to see you in a position of shit so she can build up her ego. This is about ego. Okay, and on top of that, the lunatic is in debt. Wonderful. Wonderful. Exactly where your enemy belongs. Karma. This bitch is under karma. And I want you to know. I want you to know one thing. My wonderful collectives. That now. Sit back and enjoy. When justice and karma kicks in. Everybody will receive what they deserve. If you've been a kind person your whole life. You help people. You didn't walk on other people's hat to achieve what you want. Unlike this bitch. 
Of course you will deserve these blessings. You earn them. That's why we have a scale here. It's balance up. It's time to receive what you deserve. That's exactly what it is. You're receiving what you deserve and what this bitch have stolen from you out of her own ego and selfish and vengeance, psychopathy, and she will receive what she deserves, which is fuck all. Now I call this justice. This is what this, this is what justice is about. Saints are leveling up. Because she have stolen from you using prohibited techniques such as gossip, stalking, spying, hacking, slandering, making falsified shit reports to cops and social services. You see, it was stolen from you. And now it's time for the higher power along with the spirit guides, giving you what's yours. This is called fairness. This is called justice. This is called karma, where things gonna be leveled up accordingly. She's a thief that stole from you, a fake jealous lunatic that is being served karma. And yeah, she's going through that too. She's going through that too. While you're growing, because this is your karma, you deserved it. You deserved the rebirth. You deserved abundance. You deserved growth. You deserved celebration. You deserve protection from higher powers and your spirit guides that walk with you daily, that assist you every day. And this bitch deserved this harmony. You see the difference? Harmony and disharmony? And on top of the debt, contract, forget about fucking contract. Forget about fucking career. Forget about personal growth. You're a shit. You get nothing. Because you try to stall what does not belong to you. And it's only temporarily. Because eventually the universe, how we call karma, always balances out. And here's the result. Mm. She felt guilt. I don't know who could feel guilt. And here you are. You're trusting the divine time. You always trusted the divine timing. You always knew that justice will be served. That eventually, according to the law of universe, things will balance out. You knew that. And, you, and time has arrived. While this psycho jealous is guilty. She feels she feels sabotaged. You sabotaged yourself. That's what happened here. You have to be real to yourself for a change and have some fucking wake up call. And assess the situation. That if you're constantly going to be shitting on other people, you're going to get fuck, fucking shit. That's the truth. This is called life. Nobody got away with so much bullshit and expected to have good growth, happy family, love, stability. This is temporarily until the universe says, oh, wait a minute. There's this balance here. I, we got to balance it out. We got to give to a person who have done nothing wrong what they deserve and what you deserve will give it to you what you deserve. So as you can see, music for your, music for your enemy did not last long. Okay? Now there is no music. Now there is no party. Now there is no happiness. And this individual self-sabotaged herself without doubt for everything that was done against you. Because you had courage to move away, to change yourself, to change your life. When you made the decision to leave, leave the psychopathic karmic ex, leave everybody, you packed away and you never looked back. You didn't know where you were going, but you knew that you have enough strength to trust the divine guidance you knew always in your heart 
That's the only thing that this loser, this jealous loser could have not taken away from you. And you know what that is? It's your faith. It's your strengths. It's your inner peace and love. No matter what the fuck she did, she'd taken away everything from you. But the only thing she could never take away from you is your strengths and your courage. And that's a fact. And now this lunatic sitting there, weak, holding herself in the bathroom. Wondering what the fuck is happening next. Because right now I feel she's losing money. This whole community, this whole gossiper. They have nothing. Doors are locking up. This is karma. This is karma. What else for this individual, this jealous individual? Hmm. Unexpected storm. Destruction. That's what's happening. Karma. Karma. Directly at her stability. Shuddered. Shuddered. This is what she did to you, right? So like I said, the key, key reading here for today is 100% I'm giving you an example how the universal justice always prevails in a matter of time. And I understand some of you have waited a long time for this to take place, but it's happening as I speak. Destruction, storm, deaths. <clears throat> okay, now let's take a look. What what else is coming towards you, my towards you, my wonderful collectives? What else is coming towards you? Nine of Wands, Two of Wands, Page of uh, Nine of Pentacles and sun after a long period after a long period of what was done to you by this disordered group of lunatics you're finally moving towards inner peace and happiness strategizing slowly but surely you're not acting fast anymore you're watching your steps you're thinking okay if I make this move, how will that affect me, right? So one thing this lunatic have taught you is to pre-plan your movement, okay? Now, you're very careful who you talk to, who you allow in your life, who are your friends, whom you can trust, and it's the right strategy. That's a strategy of a winner, you can see person bullshit right through. You're like, okay, this is the loser, lunatic, narcissist. I don't want nothing to do with this person. You stay the fuck away from me. Oh, that person is kind. I can see their heart. So once again, there's this blessing of the spiritual guidance where you learn how to listen to your intuition to make the right choices. You're not the same as you used to be. This bitch, your enemy, underestimated you. You outgrowed them. That's why exactly they feel fucking jealous as fuck. They're no match to you under any circumstances. Nothing they can do to you. Nothing but spying and watching you. That's it. And jealous and being jealous and freaking out shit on daily basis as you grow. But what's yours can never be taken away from you, right? So what hum coming towards you? Happiness, abundance, growth. Once again, sun is about abundance. It's a wise steps towards abundance. Towards receiving what is yours. And there's no limit to what you can achieve as long as you put your mind to it. Think about your steps and get what you want. Now what's coming towards this? Jealous. Stalker, who is ser being served karma. Three of cups. Oh, see, like I said, happy. She was happy, happy celebrating. He he ha ha. T he he. T he he until you go shit yourself. Now you're sad. Now now she's she's crying. 
nothing ever good enough for her, right? It's a typical narcissistic sociopathic individual, okay? That laughed, laughed at one point at your misery. Do you see how things changed? This is how it used to be. This was you and this was this bitch. Now, this is you and this is that bitch. So this tihi ha ha party celebrating right here, Srio, gossipers, lunatic, ugly as fuck, tihi ha ha, are now not so much tihi ha ha. Champagne's over. No more champagne. No more bourgeois life. That's over. Now nothing makes them happy. Nothing. Because what this lunatic wants is to destroy your life. We already know that. This individual spent years upon years upon years of destroying your life. Obsessed. Obsessed individual. Now this lunatic says, whoa, it's over for me. Right? She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to deal with the fact that karma is being served. What else coming towards these jealous stalkers, gossipers, love lives, losers? That victory, that victory that they saw they achieved over you. And this is, could be victory no matter what. For the longest time, they sit on their bitch ass horse. Like I said, tee hee, ha ha, champagne, wine, vacations. I'm so great. I'm so rich, blah, blah, blah. I'm so special. I'm the winner. No, bitch, you're a loser. Because the victory you have obtained, what's in their psychopathic mind victory is, because I cannot even relate to psychopathy. It was taken by lies, manipulation, and fraud. Unfairly. That victory was unfairly obtained. This bitch used prohibited techniques. To get what the fuck she wanted. Until karma kicked in. And this was a divine timing. Which you have trusted. And now this loser is going to have to leave you the fuck alone. She will leave you the fuck alone. Miserable. She will have to walk away what she has stolen from you. Be exposed and ashamed. What the fuck she did. And yes, she's moving straight to the mountain. Spend some time in some state of self-learning and self-growth because this is what's required. But she will not succeed. She will not succeed. Now show me this individual. Who is this individual? Briefly describe me her characteristic or his characteristic. I feel feminine energy here. A group of individuals. Yeah, this individual, like I said, um, manipulated, manipulated judicially something out of jealousy. Okay, this individual herself uh, shows up as very emotional. She's very emotional individual, cries a lot. You know, deep down acts like a very fe feminine, like a, oh, I'm so sweet. Yeah, I just feel sick. I'm so kind. Oh, no, I broke my nail. Boo -hoo -hoo. Very emotional, unstable, right? Manipulated at one point. She manipulated potentially judicial system against you. Yeah, there is some sort of king of pentacles, materialistic individual here with her. So she potentially is not alone. Very angry, very angry, okay? Use other people against you, slanders. Manipulator, it's an artificial manipulator. Artificial manipulating psycho. That's who she is. Manipulates. Manipulates everybody by playing this innocent victim bullshit drama. What else? Masculine. Twin flame. Fire. 
Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Self-love, intention, self-care, and fate, divine intervention. Yeah, potentially this jealous psychopathic, she could be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. She's an air sign. Inter intervene in your twin flame connection. And that individual potentially was Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. She interfered in your relationship with this uh, twin flame of yours. Okay. And now, like I said, th there will be a divine intervention among this couple. Because they're, they're now a couple. The only reason why she did this are the jealousy. Okay. There's family here. There's home. There's commitment. Okay. She wanted to lower you down, disrespect you. So to show you out of this terrible light. That truly you're not. All out of slander and out of gossip. To make herself feel important. And now psychopaths spying on you and stalking on you. Okay, so there's definitely going to be a divine intervention. In this couple here. Well, what can I say? Uh, this individual looks like she has some sort of confidence issue, jealousy issue, like I said. Um, you're very, like I said, attractive individual, fiery individual, hot individual. And, and this individual, just like I said, cannot deal. There's an issue with the self-worth. insecurities otherwise why why would there be this jealousy going on why would somebody go such an extent to destroy your life if there would be no basic common sense that is jealousy alone you're you're, you're sparked your new life renewal you potentially already have new home this individual is toxic you are integrating in this new special union that is coming in towards you while this lunatic is a constant pattern of toxicity and abuse. Constantly. Over and over again. Terrible. Very terrible. At one point I feel sincerely sorry. But she is now going to have to face her shadow side. Her dark side. is coming out. Okay. That this person truly toxic. Okay very afraid there could be something like i said crazy going on she's controlling everybody she used this manipulative controlling tactics upon everybody very insecure pathetic and disgusting person at one point very miserable but you know on another hand i do not feel no misery and no remorse for someone who did this to you. Now, like I said, karma is kicking in for this individual. And she's still stalking you, okay? Watching you shine. Very emotional. C could cry all the time. Manipulate people with her moods, you know. Uh, very toxic individual. Very toxic. But she deserves what's coming towards her. She does. She truly does. Yeah, she's an air sign, queen of swords, as I said, air sign. <clears throat> Jealous. Stalking. Watching you standing strong in your power. Watching you moving towards love, unity. The simple fact that you love yourself. The simple fact that you stand strong in your power. The simple fact that you did not lose the sense of love makes this lunatic sad. And oh boy, is she sad. Keeps her head down. You keep your head down and you stay put after everything you've did to my collectives. 
Yeah, there's new person coming in towards you and justice. New person, king of pentacles coming in. Stable individual, mature. And on top of that, you're a high priestess. Everything is going to be according to the higher power. And this lunatic, I'm telling you right now, she should have never fucked with you. She should have never, ever, ever fucked with you. Ever. Take into consideration that you are a magician and a high priestess. And a justice come up here. And a justice comes up here. It is the higher power themselves that going to make sure that this lunatic stays put for a long time. I promise you that. You do not mess around with someone who is so powerful, both intuitively, divinely guided. Today, after this experience with this psychopath, the truth for you is not a matter of principle. You know, you're going to be a cheap to truth, meaning that you will demand truth. You're no longer going to allow bitches manipulating you lying to you, playing this bullshit rat ass games behind your fucking back. You're going to make sure that these fucking rats nowhere near your space. You're going to literally get them the fuck out of your energies. They're going to be gone. You are obtained through this difficult journey. Extraordinary gift. And we all have extraordinary gifts. Through pain, we obtain them. This is how it works. Through obedience, through faith, through kindness, through love. Through love. And this is, I think, the biggest challenge. The last final challenge before you can unleash that extraordinary gift is to pass the simple test can you forgive? Can you remain humane? Facing inhumane beasts on your path. And you have and you have passed the challenge. So congratulations. Congratulations. Okay? So expect your love. You may potentially intuitively feel this person. That person wants to be with you. Whether you want to accept this person, that's your choice. Universe always giving you choices and different replacements. If one doesn't work, there's always going to be a second one and a third. But this time you will choose with heart. Because that's what a high priestess does. They always choose with their heart. Not according to the size of the wallet or a dick. But with their heart. Okay. All right, my wonderful collectives. This is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.